I've got a proper contract for you. I don't think I need to tell you that the housing in London's gone mental. Thousands of people living on the street while perfectly good houses doing nothing but providing cover to criminals hiding their loot from taxes. If we are clear on this, I hope you have proof to back it up. Nothing that could put anyone behind bars. That's where you come in. Investigate some of these shell houses, expose the tax fraud, take the power back. You got this.
Albion confirms that the explosions seen in the skies over London were indeed an Albion drone project that was sabotaged by the DedSec insurgency. In an exclusive interview with GBB Radio 1, Albion founder and CEO Nigel Cass had this to say. Truth is, the supposed freedom fighters of DedSec have made London less free. That drone project was meant to replace Albion boots on the ground, let the city get back to normal, but now, I can't in good conscience stand my people down. That's not how I lead. Cass went on to implore listeners to treat any suspected DedSec operatives as terrorists and to immediately report them to Albion. That lied Ross clot. He had a hit list as long as the Nile and now he plays the victim. And it's working. Sorry, that was too cheerful. Sadly, it's working. Too sad? It's what he does. He scares the shit out of people, then swoops in and plays the hero. We've got to show them what he really is. So that's his weakness, his image. If we shatter that, he falls apart. A few of us fought about that. Bugly, bring it up. This is Claire Waters, political dissident and podcaster, reported missing after teasing a salacious upcoming episode. Sadly, it never aired. So all we have is this. On the next episode of Buccaneer Radio, I'm chatting with someone from deep inside Nigel Cass's inner circle. He's promised me something that will expose Cass as the tyrant I know he is. This is going to blow the roof right off White Tower. See you next week, pirates. Nigel would have spun that interview if it was spinnable. If he went off the waters for it, that tape's a smoking gun. We've got to have it. Claire was known to broadcast out of Freight One. You should begin searching there. Now, send me her findings. It may be worth seeing if there's anything to her claims. The data Nout has compiled is rather damning. Billions of pounds worth of London real estate is owned by companies registered in known tax havens, often owned by organized crime and paid for with illicit funds. Nobody lives in these homes and the government looks the other way. Not only does this keep the market hyperinflated, but it also takes dirty crime money and turns it into clean homeowner money. And that is why none of you will ever be able to own property in London. Obviously, Bagley. Look at it this way. As long as you've got a device with internet access in your cardboard box, we could be flatmates. Anyway, if you want to play investigative journalist and do something, you can go to the bin I've put on your map. Claire Waters appears to be an equal opportunity muckslinger. Albion is her target of choice, but she's railed against tech genius Sky Larson, SIRS, and Plan Kelly. Opinionated, isn't she? With dead sick behind her, she could do a lot of damage. The right kind of damage. She's been digging in Cass's shit for a while. If what she has isn't enough to squeeze his bollocks in a vice, then maybe she'll join you lot and help find something.
What a world, Bagley. You never believe the people I've met. What are you doing? Bridges, Bagley. I'm building useful bridges. Works for me. Let's go. In today's episode of The Upload, we're talking about how Bagley managed to conquer London. Pretty much my favourite topic, I could talk for hours about the rise of the AI system. It's easy to forget about its origins, it's so present everywhere that we go now. Bagley just kind of blends into the background. Bagley is the service AI that's present in every optic device. Whether you're using the optic, Bagley will be there. The AI is streamed to your optic from Bloom Central Command Center, and it was first created by Skylass and our tech hero as part of her techno utopian idea for the world. Why do you think it grew so quickly? In my mind, it's no surprise that Bagley became so popular. It's funny, useful, fast. It's a great companion and really just makes life so much easier. I mean, when you look back at all the service AI that used to exist, they just can't compete. When you ask Bagley anything, there's a quick answer and loads of information available to you. One day, I let Bagley answer all of my messages for a whole 24 hours and no one even noticed the difference. The other competitors really just couldn't compete with Bagley. Their answers were so much worse, they didn't understand anything, and Bagley pretty much gets everything right first time. Do you have any idea why Bagley really beat all the competition? Well, it's really the data, isn't it? Claire used to broadcast from somewhere around here. That's all I've got. I'm afraid. Bloody analog technology. This girl is starting to rack up enemies. If we find her this easy, they will too. Let's go quickly. I think we could add something here. That will get some attention. Damn it, somebody got her. Proper Vix. She should have left her promise. I'd love to listen to you moan all day, but perhaps investigating her murder would be a better use of our time. You're right, Bugs. Let's find the bastards who did this and expose them. Let's have a look around. Lot of people have come through here. Several individuals. Boots rather than shoes. One with a tread unique to a certain paramilitary supplier. I think it's from their autumn collection. I bet you anything there, I'll be on supplier. Check out the graffiti. It's a bit much, no? Claire did release several podcasts critical of Clan Kelly, which you'd think they'd be used to by now. They're a criminal gang. They shouldn't expect flowers and thank you notes. Kellys don't tend to advertise their hit jobs, though. Something is not adding up. 
Mm. Whoever kid clear stole her equipment but forgot this tablet. Bugs, a look at her, please. Tablet unlocked. Claire seems to have logged conversations on it. Okay, you've agreed to speak on the record. You are an intelligence technician at Albion and work closely with Nigel Cass, correct, Mr...? Just you. I can't believe I'm doing this. If they were to find out. I know. Only have to step outside to see how Albion <clears throat> treats people. What do you have for us? Proof that... <sighs> Proof that Nigel Cass was complicit in the bombings. What? But that's... Here, transfer it to this secure storage drive. How solid is this information? It's a recording of him talking to some... <laughs> Security, drop your weapons! You can't do this! Gather all our equipment and get it to the carousel. You, take that wall, then get rid of this body. She can stay here. <laughs> Gang vengeance is an horrible crime, ain't it? Fuck me. Cass sent a squad of his goons for Claire and that other bloke. That recording's got to be the real deal. Bastard knew about the bombings. Albion must have Claire's equipment, then along with the audio file evidence. This is it then. Cass has finally gone to peer for everything. We just need that file. The hitman said Carousel. Hmm. It's got to mean Carousel Plaza. Sounds like as good a place as any to start looking. is here somewhere. Watch out, Albion security is thicker than whoever cleaned up that crime scene. And there's also a lot of them around. In other words, more Ross Clark to mash up. Can't say I'm sorry. After what we saw, they deserve everything that is coming. Yes, well, let's focus on finding Claire's equipment, shall we? Claire's equipment, including her secure storage drive, which shockingly appears not to have been tampered with, so the audio evidence is probably still intact. too far. Area clear, moving on. 
It doesn't have well here. Like this. Give it up. What's next? Can I see anybody? I'll go over there. I've had quite enough of this to sort out new accommodations in an Albion holding cell. Have London rents really gotten that bad? Got caught, did they? <laughs> Maybe they should try harder next time. Claire's equipment, including her secure storage drive, which shockingly appears not to have been tampered with, so the audio evidence is probably still intact.
Attempt to apprehend the suspects. Friends just been taken into Albion custody. So long as you don't cock up that badly, you'll be my favourite operative today. Fuck, you know, have I got to do everything? Right, here we go. Too far out. Claire's equipment, including her secure storage drive, which shockingly appears not to have been tampered with, so the audio evidence is probably still intact.
your teammate has sought out new accommodations in an Albion holding cell. Have London. Rent's really gotten that bad. All right, no problem. Blim, I've got this. equipment, including her secure storage drive, which shockingly appears not to have been tampered with, so the audio evidence is probably still intact. listening let's talk we told you the prime minister would turn you down brits love to see private military contractors on foreign streets but not their own he's a fool this whole city this whole country's collapsing the military's held together with duct tape police are running scared someone has to save the people nigel someone strong I've already worked it out. The ideal targets are the Toan Conference, Parliament, and King's College Hospital. I'll provide overseas tag teams for logistics, but you can source the bombs yourself. Non-negotiable, it cannot trace back to me. You're forgetting something. And I'll get you access to filament, as agreed. Now go away. 
Now scarper or they'll kill you for sure. Has a voice that makes you want to snap his smug bollocks in a pencil case, doesn't he? And Zero Day knew just which strings to pull to get what they wanted, didn't they? Filament. And Cass was willing to trade it for the keys to the city. Fuck. Don't know, fam. I think I always thought there was a chance for him to... Fuck! To be the man you thought he was. Sorry, Hamish. If that man ever existed, he's gone now. We have to get this information out there to the people. You're right. When you lot get the chance, come to Piccadilly Circus. Been working with bags on something. And this proof is just the top and we need it. London, you've been lied to. Nigel Cass and his Albion peacekeepers intend to permanently control his city. The ideal targets are the Tone Conference, Parliament and King's College Hospital. I'll provide overseas tech teams for logistics, but you can source the bombs yourself. Non-negotiable, it cannot trace back to me. Nigel Cass collaborated with a terrorist to bomb this city. Then, he set up an orbital drone program called Themis that will target you based on your stolen data. I will not allow anyone, not even myself, to jeopardize Themis. I've given you the truth. Do as you will. Actually, fuck that. Resist. Not bad, not bad if I do say so, innit? Hamish! Ha <laughs> ha. Out of the basement? Yeah, well, can't lock myself away from the world forever. Got a lot to make up for, don't I? Besides, you sorry lot need all the help you can get. Check it. Fucking wankers! Yeah, looks like we've still got a lot of work to do, don't we, Haim? Sent that to every news outlet I could think of. They're gonna have it on the loop for a while. And when the people tweak to what it means, Cass is done. He'll be removed, prosecuted for high treason. They'll have no choice. We've done it. Congratulations, team. Brilliant. So who are we after now? That victory's got me pumped. I'm ready. 
There is still the matter of Zero Day. You know, the rogue hacker group that conspired with Cass and Mary Kelly to blow up London. Jesus, Backley, all work and no play. Give the squad a second or two to bask in our victory. Safe to say it won't last long. 